have um, fx, the function of x, is equals to x power 4 plus x cubed plus x minus 10 all over x squared plus 2x minus 3. We are told to show that fx, this one, can be written in terms of ax squared plus bx plus c plus dx plus e all over x squared plus 2x minus 3. I told you anytime you see a term over the divisor, this must be the remainder. That must be the remainder. And we can only do that by, we can only realize the remainder by use of the long method. So, without further ado, we talk about x power 4 plus x cubed plus, of course, you realize that there is no x squared. So, we must bring it on when it is very empty. So, 0x squared plus x minus 10. Please don't forget to introduce the index uh, descending systematically because if you forget that then you may not you might get lost in your evaluation all this divided by x squared uh, plus 2x minus 3 so x to power 4 divided by x squared is of course x squared this x squared multiplied by the whole of the divisor we have x4 uh, plus 2x squared minus uh, 2x cubed, yes, 2x cubed minus 3x squared, minus 3x <coughs> squared. Then you subtract power 4, uh, uh, cancel out, 4, x power 4 minus x power 4 is 0, x power 3 minus 2x power 3, of course we have minus x power 3. 0x squared minus negative 3x squared, we have positive 3x squared. Of course, we bring down uh, x. So, this x, negative x cubed, divided by x squared is negative x. Multiply with negative x throughout, we have minus x cubed, minus x cubed, minus 2x squared, of course, plus 3x, plus 3x. You subtract that part. Again, that one, uh, x cubed minus minus x cubed is 0. 3x squared minus minus 2x squared is 5x squared. And x minus 3x is minus 2x. You drop down minus 10. 5x squared divided by x squared is plus 5. Then multiply out 5x squared um, plus 10x minus 15. And therefore we have, uh, that gives us 0, minus 2x, minus 10x, minus 12x. 10 minus minus 15 is plus 5. And because x cannot divide x squared, then this is now considered to be the remainder. So what we are having here is, this one can be written as, we just assume that we are having this, but exactly equals to, there is this x squared, x squared minus x plus 5, minus x plus 5, plus now the remainder, minus 12x plus 5, all over x squared plus 2x minus a 3. Having written it that way, you can already now compare this and this, and you can easily say your A is 1, our A is 1, our B is negative 1. You can see this one compares with this. Our C is 
5 is, is positive 5 you can see what our D is our D is negative 12 and our E our E is supposed to be 5 yes these are the values of the unknown that we are supposed to find but we could not find them if we did not now evaluate this one using the long division and here we are our a is 1 b negative 1 c5 d minus 12 and e positive 5 okay